Today we're going to make firecrackers. In order to do this, I'll need one pound of saltine crackers. I'm just using off brand. And then the main ingredient besides the oil will be uh, crushed red pepper flakes and dry ranch powder. Stick around. To start off, I've got some uh, gallon zip top, or got a gallon zip top bag, and what I did is I just folded over the um, the little zipper part, and this has a wide bottom, so it flattens out, so it stands up on its own. All right, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of toasted sesame seed oil. All right, I got a quarter cup toasted sesame seed oil in here in a gallon bag. Now I'm going to add in a quarter of a cup of ranch dressing powder. That's roughly one ounce of ranch dressing powder, which is roughly equivalent to a packet of the powder. If you like it a little milder, you can do a half or a quarter cup of red pepper flakes, but I am actually doing a half cup of red pepper, crushed red pepper flakes. This right here is a half teaspoon of granulated garlic. Now we're adding three quarters of a cup of olive oil into the mix. This is extra virgin olive oil. Now we'll just mix this up until everything is incorporated together. Now we add in the crackers. Now we'll close this up and lightly shake it. Ideally, You'd want to have a two gallon zip top bag or a very, very large lidded uh, plastic tote of some sort that you could shake these up in. Uh, the Walmart crackers are a little bit more fragile than the regular saltine from Nabisco, but they'll work. Um, and every so many minutes you just shake these and about 20 minutes they're done. I like to let them sit a little longer, about an hour, hour and a half. Okay, so this is what they look like when they're all done. You can kind of see it. Not really oily. The oil just kind of soaks up. I'm going to give these a try. I've been eating on them all day long, to tell you the truth. Wife ate some, I ate some. I will say, if I was doing it for a group, I probably would do half the amount of peppers, but... I'm going to take these for my lunch tomorrow on a fishing trip, and this right here will be perfect. Mm. Very savory. Mm. Now you put a little bit of tahini in there, and that'd be good too. You could do. You could add tahini, maybe about a tablespoon, no more than a tablespoon, because tahini could overpower it. But I did try some today with some tahini. But you get a warming feeling. It's very warming. It's not hot. It's not hot. But it's warming, and that's from. A excess amount of peppers that I did put in there for me. Now, for me and my wife, it's not really that big of a problem. If I was at a get together or something other, or I had friends over, I'd put half the amount of pepper I put in there. So only a quarter of a cup of um, hot pepper, which is only two tablespoons. It sounds like a lot when you say quarter cup. That's only two tablespoons. Now I want to show you why I'm doing this. This right here is going to be my lunch tomorrow on a fishing trip. And I'm going to put these on crackers. These came from a viewer. Um, one of Ricky's friends. Um, he's a viewer of my channel, Stump. And so Stump, uh, he sent me a few of these through Ricky. And I'm going to have this for my lunch. And they would be perfect on these crackers. Now, if you would like to help out my channel, I do have in the About section of my channel, and I'll also try to link it in the description below, I do have an Amazon wish list. So if you want to help me out, 
you can definitely order from that Amazon wish list and that will help me out. There's all kind of weird things on there because I have a lot of plans. So you'll see some cooking stuff and then stuff that I can't afford like waiters. Um, a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, if, the, if you think of something, you can always run it past me and uh, I'd say yay or nay or whatever. I don't want to get something that I won't use. That's the thing. I want to make sure that I'm going to use the stuff that people gift me. I think that's the honorable thing to do. If somebody's going to give you something, you know, use it. And I want to make sure that I use everything to the maximum. But I do have some upcoming episodes I want to do, and I've got some weird stuff on that list I just can't buy around here. And um, I've got a recipe for stump that I'm going to be doing soon. Um, there's one element I've got to run to town and get it, but I mean, not my town where I live, but actually a town or two over and get it. But uh, once I get it, I think you'll like it. Well, I hope you make these, these firecrackers. They are awesome. Uh, give them a try. They'd be great with like chili or chowder or soup or anything like that. They'd be wonderful. I've been eating on these all day long just by themselves. They're that good. But anyway, please like this video. Comment if you've ever made this type before. What would you eat them with? And share them with your friends online. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. We're slowly getting there. We're creeping up. It's going to take a lot to get there, but we are slowly working our way. So every little bit helps. So thank you for all your support. And with that, I'll see you again next time. Bye.